Si quieres comprar juegos a excelentes precios, te invito a pasarte por nba.com usando el link en la descripción. Encontrarás ofertas geniales y de paso le echas una manito al canal. Ahora te dejo con el video. Disfrútalo. Hola, ¿qué tal gente? Bienvenidos al canal, bienvenidos a otro episodio más de Red Dead Redemption. Seguimos el viaje de John Marston, donde lo habíamos dejado el capítulo pasado. Estamos acá en una de las habitaciones de John, aquí en Chuparosa, y eh, lo habíamos dejado después de haber completado la misión de los eh, cobardes mueren dos veces, donde nos traicionaron. De Santa nos traicionó y pues quiso acabar con nosotros, ¿vale? Pero Reyes, el bueno de Reyes, nos eh, salvó la vida. Eh, what? Se están quejando, ¿eh? Nos salvó la vida y pues acá estamos, ¿vale? Dios, Dios, yo, yo me voy. Yo soy un visitante nada más, ¿eh? Y pues tenemos también eh, dos tesoritos más. Y los que quedan los vamos a buscar cuando avancemos en la historia. Se busca Julián Coronado. Criminal, hurto, en rancho polvo. 240 vivo y 120 muerto. Vale. Vamos a cazar un poco. Where is el maloso? El fugitivo ha sido por última vez en Rancho Polvo. Vale. Se ventilaron a dos acá, ¿eh? Se ventilaron a dos por... Cuidado, cabrita. Por... Revolver el gallinero, como se dice. Where is... Uf, rancho Polvo. Vale. Eh, aquí. Vamos a... Sí, pero claramente no vamos a ir... Todo el rato viajando Porque es Muy larga la tirada Así que vamos a ir con Viaja rápido Acá Perdido. Aquí también estaban los... ¿Cómo se llamaba la planta que teníamos que buscar? Romeros de California. Romeros de California. Cabalíes y coyotes. Eh, ¿No estará ahí? No, tiene pinta de ser una asclepia. <risa> Una esclepia. Aquí se están tiroteando. Durísimo. Vale, Henry. Vale, vamos a ir con esta porque... Está ahí arriba, pero... Quizás puedo subir por aquí, ¿no? Quiero creer. Caballito activa el 4x4. Qué grande el caballo, ¿eh? Enorme. Vale. Vale. Mátalo, John. Bueno. Casi me mata. No chingues. LOL, nos saltamos la animación, eh. Ven acá, ven acá. No importa, amigo, que vienen. Vienen todos a buscarnos. Vale, cárcel de Chuparos. Chuparosa. Bueno, 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 bueno. Que viene todo acá. Vale. 
Uf, igual estamos lejísimos, ¿no? <risa> Dios. Voy a marcarlo acá. Va a ser un viaje movido, ¿eh? Ah, que no sube. Vale, hay que subir por el camino. Hacer un camino movidito. Uy, no me quedan balas, eh. 22. Scofield. Eh, volcanic. Vale, la volcanic. ¿Se fijaron? Eso fue netamente el control, ¿eh? ¿Ven que mi control está... De hace rato está malito ya? No me... Dejó avanzar Creo que le di. Creo, no estoy seguro. Dios, Volcanic tampoco me queda. Doble acción. Vale, es cofío. verdad que el, la pistola semiautomática, el Volcanic y todo eso usan la misma munición. Vienen más. Vienen más. Vienen a toda pastilla. Vamos a subir aquí primero. Vamos a tratar de aguantar los tiros. Vale. ¡Ay! Venían burro. Venían burritos. Silencio, amigo. Silencio, sabandija. Vienen más, vienen más. Si lo digo. Sí, vienen acá. A lo mejor llegamos a la ciudad antes, ¿eh? Sí. Poblado, perdón. A lo mejor llegamos aquí al poblado. Every peso, gringo. Vale, la tienda está abierta. Casi mil dolarucos, eh. Me parece estupendo. Casi mil dolarucos. Bien, a ver, tenemos a Luisa y a Reyes. Vamos a hacerle una misión a Reyes, eh, porque no... Técnicamente no le hemos hecho misiones. Solo con Luisa. Mira, ya abrió la tienda. ¿eh? No, ya estoy acá. Ya. ya estoy acá. No, gracias. Ya. No te voy a vender mi. No te voy a vender mi oro. Vale. Chido. No me digas que no, que, que es de horario, por favor, si no. Empezamos mal. No, ahí está. Vale, chido. Señor Reyes. El gran asalto al tren mexicano.
tenemos que movilizar fuerzas en el extremo sur de la llanura para que los flancos del este y el oeste. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo. Here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you or me with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, send my people free. Libre Mexico. Mexico. Libre Mexico. It's like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so do you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. Ay, Dios mío, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Follow me. We must hurry. Go. Acompaña a Reyes. ¿A dónde, amigo? You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get the sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best. Carajo, cuidado, John. <laughs> If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. So how did you meet this William Song and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost. Angry and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me? I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. You have quite Dutch, a story, eh? John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your poster. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. 
I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then the son takes his dog outside and rapes it. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Allende is una marioneta. How do you say, a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. Yes, that you're slowing us down, Marco. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction, you can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay. But well, listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Wait here while I create a distraction. Espero la distracción. Nos dio. Si te acercas al tren, los guardias te atacarán. Nos dio cuchillos arrojadizos, eh. Vuelate en el tren. Usa los cuchillos arrojadizos para matar a los guardias sin alertar a los demás. Agáchate pulsando L3 para moverte sigilosamente. Los puntos del mapa de los guardias se harán más grandes cuando sean alertados. Hay uno acá, eh. Elimina a los guardias. Desengancha los vagones del ejército mexicano. Control de la ametralladora Gatling. Vale. Vale, dame un segundo, quiero revisarlo. Cuchillo arrojadizo, vale. Pero, a ver, sale para que el equipo, a ver. Varios. Consumibles. No. Elimina a los guardias. Eso es la fiesta. ¿Qué 
Pensé que era un explosivo y era, era un saco lleno de sangre. Uf, agacho de Jun. al otro aquí no toma el control de la locomotora tira de la palanca del freno para robar el tren ¿Y Reyes? Vale, puede ser como automático. Coloca la dinamita en la escotilla del vagón blinda. Ok. Por la dinamita. Aquí. Colocar dinamita. <ríe> Yo volé. Muy bien, John. Now take a look inside. Maybe our agenda has another gift for us. Saqué el, el vagón, perdón. Blindado. Iba a decir blagón. <risa> un matado. Uf. Mueve el stick a la izquierda para encontrar... Perdón, a la derecha para encontrar el primer número. Si mueves el día en la dirección contraria, deberás volver a empezar. Vale. Eh, facilito. Revolver nuevo. 200 dólares. ¿Y qué más? Vuelve con reyes. Munición de revólver. Ah, pensé que era uno nuevo. Solamente nos dio, mu Uf, nos dio munición. Oh, 
And my spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. ¿Se dan cuenta que todos se, como que se aprovechan de nosotros? Para su beneficio y no nos ayudan mucho. Interesados. Bien. 150 de fama. Vale, ¿habrá algo cerca? Eh, no, dédalo hijo Y pues nada más Nada más A ver a Luisa Vale Uy, que casi me pasa la rueda por la cara Padre Abraham o Abraham. Hey, señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antelas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mueve El mundo es muy difícil. Mm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Uh -huh. Ah, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people, for these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns, And money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you. Out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Let's go. We do not have much time to prepare the ambush. Ve de copiloto con Luis. Sorry about your father. His death must not be in vain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chuparrosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. 
but I still can't forgive you for helping Allende, for what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Allende betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. Me? You? Him? We're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston. The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence, and all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso, New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. Es muy lejos donde tenemos que ir, ¿no? Un poco. Vale, veamos si es que hay diálogo. Sí. I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. Then, if we spilled enough blood, we could change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Freedom. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. I feel terrible, but it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. Jack Marston. He is me. not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We're going to steal their supplies? No. Destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. You have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. You are the expert, gringo. Was where? Indica a los rebeldes dónde hay que enterrar las cargas de dinamita. Uf. Uh, vale, para señalar a los dinamiteros que el, qué lugar del camino deben colocar. Vale, acá vamos a El largo del cable de la mitad colocada es limitado. El detonador no puede situarse demasiado lejos. Vale. Vamos a colocar uno acá. Si reparte la dinamita a lo largo del camino, tendrás más probabilidades de destruir una mayor parte del convoy. Vamos a poner uno acá. Vamos a poner otro aquí. Te quedan tres cargas de dinamita por colocar. Acá. Y... 
Podríamos colocar una aquí para asegurar el medio. ¿eh? Para asegurar el medio. ¿eh? Ve al detonador de la colina. Frontera Bridge. Todos a sus posiciones. They are coming. Get ready, John. Prepara el detonador. Vale, tenemos dinamita para para la batalla. Every time Allende hits us, we hit him back harder. There it is. Get ready. Mm, vale, la dinamita activa, vale. Vale, entonces ahí podríamos detonar esto del medio. Sí, podríamos detonarla del medio. Cuando pase esta. O quizás la de más adelante. Para que agarre un poco las de atrás. Ok. Uno. Dos. Vale. ¿Qué queda vivo? Bueno, nos sobraron dos, ¿eh? We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. Bien. Chido. Vale, 200 de fama. Fama pistolero. Vamos a rapiñar. ¿Qué salió? Salió un mensaje, ¿eh? pero que salga. Eres famoso. De ahora en adelante podrás robar caballos sin tener problemas con la ley. Vale. Ahora vamos. Somos. Somos celebridad. Somos una celebridad. Vale, acá. Ok. Tenemos que reunirnos con Luisa. Eh, pues sí. Sí, sí, sí. Torquemada. No hemos ido a Torquemada. Eh. No, no, ten no hemos tenido misión ahí. Vale, vamos a ver a, a Luisa nuevamente, a reunirnos con ella, a ver qué, qué nos dice post tiroteo. Uy, ¿qué tenemos ahora? Ah, esto creo que, creo que ya la tenemos esta. Romero. Romero de California, vale, creo que es un... Esto tiene pinta de ser una, es un asalto. Cargo. Esta es antigua, amigos. Cambien el, el modus operandi, eh. Cámbienlo. Ya. Ya no cuela. Ya no cuela, eh. A ver, caballino. A ver a Luisa.
1.309 dólares. Estamos... Eh, tapados en dinero, ¿eh? Sí, señor. Quiero ver si pillamos alguna planta por aquí. Si no, tomamos... Viaja rápido. Acá. Romerillo. Romerillo de California. Parece la banda, en verdad, pero... Vale, claro, aquí pasamos por Chuparosa. No, no creo que haya más. Vale, vamos a... Tomar, tomar perdón, el viaje rápido. Bueno, no tiene horario. La caída del Capitán de Santa. ¿Qué es eso? ¡Ah, mi ¡John! ¡John! ¡Thank God you have come! That wretched animal de Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre en El Sepulcro. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Cabalga a sepulcro, sí. Ahora te acompaño. Fel feliz de la vida. Es un maldito. Voy con gusto a tiro a tierra de santo, porque es una rata de alcantarilla de las peores. Were you a soldier once, compadre? A soldier? No, I was never much good at taking order. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying that convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those two? Allende is scared and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. ¿Cómo vamos a ver Scofield, acción. Sí, vamos chido. El sepulcro es just up ahead. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give them a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, señor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! Captura de Santa. No mates a de Santa, captura la comida para averiguar el paradero de Javier. Descuella. ¿Y el de acá dónde está? ¡No jodas! ¡Wow! Claro, es que estaba en ventaja porque... Tenía mejor puntería. Y yo claramente estaba jugando con los pies. ¡Es 
Este me mato. Antes de que escape. Ven acá. Ven acá, maldito. Ven acá, maldito. Te arrancas como un cobarde. ¡Soldados! ¡Que alguien me ayude! Think about what you are doing. Lleva de Santa hasta la entrada del cementerio. You're angry. I can understand that. Todavía quedan los soldados allá, eh. ¿Y el otro dónde está? No, gracias. of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? I told you what Mata de Santa it. Oleja te dijo que los rebeldes se ocupen de él. Now we're even, Captain. Si! Sí, viva Abraham Reyes! It is done. Come on. Now we find your friend. Cabalga a casa madruga. Tenía que meterle yo el tiro en la cara. We I am glad it was you, compadre. There's some things you gotta finish yourself. There is no time to stop. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths. Maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. We must move on Allende now, before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Tenía que hacerlo, ¿eh? después de esa traición hay que meterle el plomazo. Why are you looking for Javier Escuela? We was friends once, long time ago, but not anymore. All friends make their worst enemies. You're telling me. Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds about right. Vale, acá. Sí, esta es casa madrugada. se salva ese, eh. Vale, 
Adiós. Fuera. Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. The captain de Santa said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place, sauce. <coughs> <laughs> Bueno, 300 de fama, ¿eh? 300 de fama. Ojito. Vale, tenemos acá libre. Vamos a comprar claramente con todo el dinero que tenemos. Vamos a comprar aquí una habitación. Y acá habrá... ¿Un cofre? Chale. Munición de fusil. No. No. Vale. Vamos a subir. Vamos a comprar. Y la misión es de Reyes, ¿no? Abraham Reyes. Doscientos cincuenta. Sí. 250 Vale, tenemos aquí cofre de munición Y esto es... Ah, no, es del escenario Cofre de munición Vamos a recuperar munición Vamos a guardar Y vamos a ir dejando el capítulo de hoy hasta acá Avanzamos un montonazo en lo que es eh, la aventura principal y pues estamos un pasito más cerca de lo que es eh, Javier, de encontrar a Javier y también a Bill, ¿vale? Y también, pues, de paso nos cargamos a De Santa, maldita rata, que nos la debía por esa tradición que casi nos cuesta la vida. Muy top este Red Dead Redemption, es un clásico atemporal, creo yo, me lo paso muy bien, es un juego muy, muy divertido. Como suelo comentar también... Eh, habitualmente creo yo, eh, tiene sus cositas esta versión de PlayStation 3, tiene sus fallitos, pero eh, omitiendo eso, es un juego totalmente disfrutable y es muy, muy top. Como siempre, gracias por la compañía, gracias por gastar un poquito de su tiempo por aquí en el canal, espero si lo han pasado tan bien como yo, y como siempre también, abajo un comentario si es que así lo desean, darle un buen like al video si es que les gustó, siempre se agradece. Si no me dejan su dislike, que para eso está, y nos vemos en el siguiente episodio de este genial Red Dead Redemption. Saludos a todos, cuídense. Adiós. <laughs>